Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial. This is our part number 24. Inside this video session guys, we will create class and save to our database table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel Admin Panel Development Beginner Tutorial. So in our last video session guys, we had made a form and save our database table something called add section. By using this form, we have saved this data to our database table called TBL class section and that this, this is the data that we have saved. Now inside this video session, we are going to save about called add class. Before saving that, we need to populate all the sections inside this drop down because right now it is a static value. So go to our editor. Now here we are, we are using about add class for our adding the classes. Okay, so basically we need to open our add school class. I'm copying this method and uh, let me open about school class controller and inside this if I find about that method so something here and basically it is calling about add class dot play dot php so go to views folder and this is the file. Inside this file as we can see that right now it contains the static value so we need to populate with the dynamic values what we have in our TVL class sections table so back to controller so while renting to this view file we need to pass the data right here so let me say that use app models and we have inside the models folder the model actually we are using for our and something here open up the folder and inside this models folder uh, here we have got student class which basically denotes about TBL class sections so we are going to use this model so use models and let's say that a student class and we did a mistake mistake is that not add this is app okay so app models and student class so just go inside add school class and let's say that all sections let's say student class where we have a status inside this table and something let's say one and finally we need to use get method so if we back to our tbl class sections table so inside this table we have a status one it means that we are going to populate all the sections to the drop down which basically has a status of one okay means it is active so back to editor now I'm going to pass this data inside this view file so let's say that by making an array inside this array let's say that sections inside this section this is the variable which contains all the data copy this variable name copy this key go to add class and let's say that inside here we need to pass let's say for each or before using for each we need to count that there is some data inside that variable or not so I'm going to use count and this is the variable called sections it means that if we have count greater than zero it means we have some sections in that case let's say end if in that case we are going to use called for each loop to render our data so copy these sections pasting it here and let's say that as key section and finally let's say end for each inside that I'm going to copy one of the option pasting it here only we need to replace this static value with the dynamic value of this section so copy this key let's say that this is our section name so basically section and it contains a key key is something called section which basically the name of the section so back to editor let's say that this is all about section and also inside this key means inside this ID of the section we have called section and this is the ID so finally we have populated that so get rid of that and also we need to add one more option inside this select and that option is something called option select it's a section which basically contains the value of let's say minus one so if I save this file save this controller also 
go to administrator panel and reload this page. Once we reload, if I click on this choose section, as we have all the sections we have listed from our TBL class sections. Suppose we don't want to see about ABC section inside this list. So just back to our database table. If I suppose change the status from 1 to 0, it means that this section is now inactive. So in that case, if I reload this page once more, click on the select section and ABC does not exist. It means that because we have applied, we have listed only the active section inside this list by using making this condition. So successfully we have populated that. Next we have to save this form to our database table. To save this form we need to add some parameters or attributes inside this form. So it should be post and uh, we need to add action. And let's say that inside this action I'm going to add a route where actually it will hit to save the data. And this is something let's say that route Inside this route, we need to pass the name parameter and this is, let's say that, save class. So I'm going to copy this route name, go to our web.php and this is all about saving of classes data. So I'm going to copy and paste in this line. This will be about post method and get rid of all these things. Let's say that save class. It is using the same controller and we are going to create a method something called save class data scroll here only we need to change about the name parameter because this is the name parameter we are using inside this form all we have done now only we need to include about the CSRF token inside this form so I'm going to write that let's say that CSRF filled so save this page go to browser and I think that before reloading, we will have an error. Error is something that obviously we have defined this method about save class data, but we haven't made so far. So go to controller, scroll here, and let's say that public function, this is the method. And also inside this function, we need to include about the request parameter. Why actually we need? We, we, we have discussed about this in our last video session and already if we turn print R and let's say that request and finally by using this all method actually we got all the data from this form. Save this form, go to browser and I'm going to reload this page. Let's say that if I click on inspect, if you go to the code of this form then these are the attributes we have attached and this is the CSRF token that we have called by using CSRF fill function. Close this inspect. Let's say that class ABC something or let's say that it is something 11th class that we are going to create. Section something let's say B or A, 11A. Inter seats available something 10 and if I click on submit button, these are the data that we have submitted by this form something we have the data called token this is csf token this is class name this is all about section id seats available and the class status so back to editor i'm going to apply some of the validations before saving this class data what we did in our last video session the same processor we have to repeat here first of all we have to actually import validated class in this school class controller so here we have to include called use validator so by using this validator class we are going to make apply and this is about use so scroll here and let's say that validators equal to validator we have a method called make inside this method we are going to pass some array values and the first array and the second array first array is about the form values and the second array is about the field restriction or our rules to on these values so what we have we have values about let's say that class name so if I scroll here let's say class name or the name parameter of this so class name basically it is coming inside let's say request and this is our class name so pasting it here not request this is our class name so copy that and pasting it here next parameter we are receiving something 
DD section. This is all about the section ID. So we want that to restrict that user. The user is not able to select this minus one value. It only select only one of the value from this list. So copy this name parameter. Go here. Let's say DD section. Also, this is coming inside the request and in that parameter. Finally, we need to click on the seats available. So scroll here. Copy this name parameter. Let's say seats available. Go here and let's say that seats available. This is all about the request and this is all about the seats data. So we have imported all our form fields. Now we have to restrict according to our rules. So here we are going to make our rules of class name. Pasting it here. Let's say that class it should be required first. Next DD section. Pasting it here. It should be required and the selected value it means that not in selected value I am talking about the selected value it means that if we select minus one if we select minus one from this list this is also a value but we want that the value is not minus one this is a valid value from this list okay so back to controller so we want that value should not be minus one so this is the rule parameter called not in for that. Next we are I'm going to attach with the seats available. So copy this and pasting it here and it also let's say required. So finally we have made all the rules for our form fields. So copy this validator. Let's say that if validator fails, it means that we have some error inside our form submission. Else we have successfully passed our form validations. So while getting some of the errors, we need to go inside this fails block and let's return. It should be redirect, redirect back to our method. And the method we are using for adding our class is something our add class. So I'm going to copy, pasting it here with errors. So let's say with errors. Inside this errors, I'm going to pass this validator and finally with input. So save this file. And also we need to save some of the error bag messages actually we want to show at the header while submitting suppose we have some errors we want to show all that all that error so we need to use here so if I back to add section and this is all about section and in that add section we had done code for that so this is the code so if I copy this code go to this file add class and I'm going to paste at the header of this form so let's say that this is the code. So all we have done now, if I back to browser, go to add class route, reload this page and now by, we are not going to pass any of the value inside this form fields. I'm going to click on submit button. As you know that these three fields are required. So click on submit. We have errors like the class name field is required, selected drop down section is invalid and the seats available field is required so we want to pass all these three values so let's say that this is about the 12th standard I'm, I'm not going to select any of the section from this list and let's say that 30 seats available so if I press submit this is the error for our drop down so successfully we have validated our form fails next while passing all the validation rules, we want to save all these data to our database table. So for that, we are using the table something called TPL class. So if I back here, TPL classes, so we want to insert that those data inside this table. So back to editor. This is all about school class. A school class is the model which we are using to save that. So copy that model. Go here. So inside this else block, let's say that class equal to new and this is all about a school class so let's say the class class has some values called name which basically save about the section name so go up this is our class name so I'm going to copy and pasting it here also we have the key and key is something called class section ID so let's say that class section ID this class section ID basically contains the value of DD section so copy here and pasting it here another we have the key something and key is something if you back to the table go to structure this is about seats available so copy this key 
pasting it here and it is coming inside the seats available key so I'm going to pasting it here next what we have we have the column something called status so let's say status and status is coming inside the key so if I scroll here go here and this is DD status so copy this key and pasting it here so finally we have done all the settings for this add class section so next we are going to save that so let's say class and save open up our class section controller so I'm going to open up on the class section controller while saving all the data we are setting a flash message to our session so I'm going to copy these two lines to save our time and pasting it here finally we need to change out the value this is about add class and inside this message this is not about the class section this is about the class only to save this controller file go here reload this page we have some errors now we are going to save our data so let's say that we are going to class 8 of section let's say C 8C sits available let's say 50 click on submit button this class has been added successfully so back to table inside this table click on the browse section and if I click on and this is our record called 11th number record this is class 8 3 section ID it means that we have C option and 50 seats available and it is active so by the help of this video session and by the help of these controller files and the views files we have made about the add class section properly with validation and saved all the data to a database table so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day